What's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. I know it's been a while since I've made a Fallout 76 video, so I appreciate y'all coming here and checking this out. Feel free to leave a like on this if you do find it enjoyable. That'll also let me know that you guys want to see more Fallout 76 content from me. I took a major break from this game. I was extremely burnt out on it. I'm going to be real. I invested a lot of hours into this game, but yeah. I felt like getting on it and making a video that I was going to make in the past, but I just never got around to making it. And that is the simulation theory that is in Fallout 76. Um, I'm actually going to be showing you a terminal that changes everything we know about this game. Like, once you read this terminal, you'll start thinking differently about, you know, playing in Fallout 76. It'll make you just think differently about everything around us. Anyways, we can find this terminal that changes our thoughts about this game over here in the White Spring Bunker. Entering through the White Spring Service Entrance is a faster route to get to this terminal that I'm going to be showing y'all. So yeah, let's head to this terminal. Once over here, we're just going to want to head on inside the White Spring Bunker. And once we're inside, we're going to want to head to the command center that's connected to the military wing. Which, by the way, if you don't know how to gain access into the White Spring Bunker, I'll have a link in the description below to a video that'll show you how to gain access to the White Spring Bunker and complete all of the quests that you need to complete in order to launch a nuke. Also, it'll show you how to gain access to the command center here, too, in that video. Once again, it'll be in the description. But uh, yeah, once you're here at the command center, we can find the terminal back here. As you can see, it's this archival terminal. And once on it, we just want to go to data archives. And then go down to Thomas Eckhart, the presidential archives. Once here, we just want to go to the slaves archival entry. And on this, it'll have something very interesting to read. As you can see here, it states, Secretary Eckhart. Please, you need to listen to me. None of the other members will take me seriously, but I believe this is of the utmost importance. We are slaves, Mr. Secretary. I've been running some tests, and I believe I've stumbled upon what I believe to be conclusive evidence that we are trapped, playing someone else's game. Virtual strategic solutions game, that is. Everything around you, Mr. Secretary, is a simulation, a projection onto your brain. VSS has trapped us in here, and it is up to us to break free. The key to our escape, I believe, lies in a small town in what we perceive to be China. It's the link to VSS, external network. If we destroy it, it will shut down the simulation, and I believe finally be free. I cannot tell you exactly why we've been imprisoned. Perhaps this is a test by the upper ranks to make us earn our way into their good graces, Perhaps VSS has trapped us in here to prevent the Enclave from stopping whatever nefarious acts they are currently visiting upon the world in our absence. But we must do something, Mr. Secretary. To fail to act is to give up the only thing that makes us men, our freedom. Very interesting. Like, reading this changes everything, you know, we thought we knew about this game. That is this is true. I mean, at the moment, of course, there's no actual proof of this happening. It's just a theory that this guy was trying to let the Mr. Secretary know, but still, this log is in the game to read on this terminal, and this could be something the developers have planned to add in the game for us to figure out more about sometime in the future. I mean, I don't know. It's interesting that the developers did add this in the game for us to read. Either way, it definitely stirs up a bit of confusion when you read that, for sure. Like, what did that guy find? Like, what was he trying to warn? Like, was he just going crazy, or was he on to something and was actually trying to warn Thomas Eckhart? Which, by the way, in case you don't know who Thomas Eckhart was, he was the president of the Appalachian Enclave from 2083 to 2086. Now I'm going to be showing you a few things that relate to this terminal that we can find around in the game. The first one I'll be showing you will be located over here at Fort Defiance. We can find some writing on the wall that says nothing is real. You can find this writing 
from the beginning of Fort Defiance here by heading this way and taking a right when you first enter and then taking a left at the end of this hall and we're going to be making our way up these stairs right here once up here you then just want to go through this way and head over here to where you can go up instead of going up though there's a path where you can go down right here and and in this room here we can find the writing that says nothing is real very weird and also on this table here we can find a gold plated flip lighter a cigarette and chalk and not to mention a headless skeleton sitting right here and next to the headless skeleton we can find a brahmin skull I don't really know what to make of all of this it's very bizarre um, obviously though whoever was in here thought that nothing is real which you know this person that was in here was in an insane asylum so maybe he was just insane or maybe this guy was onto something within the game maybe he figured out what they figured out over in the white spring bunker like i said this is just really weird it literally changes the whole thought process of the game once again this nothing is real goes along with what was being said over at the white spring bunker and thought i'd just show you that go ahead and take this stuff because why not say i could sit in the chair oh that's weird. Oh my gosh! Okay, moving on. Now I want to show you all something else that once again goes with what was being said on the terminal down the White Spring Bunker. Alright, so this next little secret, or whatever you want to call it, something you probably missed in the game, that goes along with what was being said on that terminal in the White Spring Bunker, will be located right over here on the map next to Garahan Estate. It'll be located right here. You can actually build a camp up here if you want. But uh, yeah, as you can see, yet again, the same writing on the wall, nothing is real. And uh, yeah, it looks like this skeleton is also missing a head here next to the writing. He might have took himself out or something. There's also something going on at the top up here too. Another fella, looks like, that died up here. You can actually collect all these bones up here. There's quite a bit of bones you can collect around this area. Definitely could make for an interesting camp. Um, and let alone, like, what? And let alone, like, that terminal is a complete game changer of pretty much everything we thought we knew about this game. I mean, it is a theory that you know we're playing in a simulation in Fallout 76 but still it's a pretty interesting theory um, other than these uh, two things I don't really know any other things that go along with what was being said on that terminal in the White Spring Bunker at least in Fallout 76 there might be some other things that go along with that theory from the other fallouts um, but yeah, I thought this would make for an interesting video. I was going to make this video in the past, but I just never got around to it. And, well, just deciding to make it now. Hopefully this was something new to you all. I know, you know, the game's been out for a while, so it's hard to discover new things in it. But, yeah, hopefully this was something that y'all didn't know about. I would love to know your guys' theories about this and if you know anything else that may go along with what's being said within that terminal in the White Spring Bunker. Can't wait to see what you guys have to say about all of this. But yeah, I'm out of here everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching and listening. Until next time, peace.